everyone, welcome. We are here with SPNN for live coverage of the St. Paul Winter Carnival Parade. It's a beautiful day. You know, the sun is out and the snow is sparkling in the sun. I think it's a great day. Isn't it nice? And look at the crowd of people forming. This is going to be a terrific parade. My name is Kate Kelly. I represent the St. Paul Festival and Heritage Foundation. We are the producers of the Winter Carnival. On December 1st, 2007, at 10 a.m. on the Wells Fargo Winter Skate Rink, we will unveil the 2008 series of the Winter Carnival Button. The, the choices for, for the 08 Button were unveiled September 21st. Once they're unveiled at the College of Visual Arts, people come all day long and put their ballot, if they're unable to, to vote online, they put their, their suggestion in a suggestion box right there at the gallery. We talk to kids, so we solicit a lot of different opinions to come up with a winning design. The relationship with the College of Visual Arts is two years old. We approached them last year and asked the students to participate in the, the design of the button. It started with a phone call to Anne, the president of the College of Visual Arts, um, and a need to really reach to the younger uh, audience of the community. And we felt that who better to put together the, the designs than the uh, future designers in St. Paul. The St. Paul Winter Carnival has run for 122 years. And if you are to, to walk in the halls of our offices, you'll see buttons dating back to the first years of Carnival. So it's, it's a tradition. Um, the tradition has grown to probably on an annual basis, you'll see about 100 different buttons that, that come out. But this is the official Winter Carnival button. Would you like to introduce yourself? Beautiful out here. It's Matt Zitzo of St. Paul, Minnesota. Welcome to Winter Carnival. OK, and what's your favorite thing about Winter Carnival? It's got to be the cold weather and the medallion hunt. Okay. Well, I've got a whole group of people. These are all the folks that are lining up watching the parade. You can see this beautiful bright sun. And are you enjoying the Winter Carnival Parade? I love parades. It's a great Minnesota get together in the winter. What's in store for people with the Winter Carnival this year? Well, it's, it's magic. It's, it's fire. It's ice. It's uh, snow. It's queens. It's coronation. It's 12 days of a very, very uh, traditional St. Paul fun. 647, the coolest celebration on earth starts today in St. Paul. Well, it is winter carnival time and it's all about celebrating the cold weather. What is a better way than living out in the elements, right? Wow, Rita? that just sounds great, Tom. <laughs> it sure does. The sled I'm standing in front of has been on display down here at the Hot Dish Tent, and this is Will Steger's actual sled he used in 1986 when he went to the North Pole with some of his original gear. He was here last weekend talking about it, but I pulled this out because Devin Anderson is here. You're part of the Jamaican dog sled team. Welcome to St. Paul. Thank you. Tell me about this team. <laughs> He's cold. I'd like to uh, I'd like to welcome everybody back down to Rice Park for for this tremendous celebration and this tremendous labor of love. Um, I'd like the, the, I'd like people to understand how much um, volunteerism means to this organization, um, to the community, uh, because without our volunteers, without our tax collectors, without uh, this spirit of carnival, we couldn't run for 122 years. So I think ev everyone in St. Paul should be very, very proud of a tradition that has lasted this long and uh, for the determination to make sure it goes forward for the next hundred years. Yeah. 